Hey guys, it's Brooke. I've been at the pool all day, but uh, now it's time to, I just woke up again. No, <laughs> it's time to shred a little bit. Let's do uh, some amyxolydian melodic uh, kind of exercises. Check this out. Feel that A sound. Sometimes that context is uh, needed when we're talking about, you know, licks and riffs and all that funny stuff. If you hear the chord, like, uh, check this out. What if you uh, worked on a little riff? Hear that? So what key are we in? If you said A, you are correct. A mixolydian mode to be uh, more precise as far as the, the flavor of A. So make sure you got your index finger uh, ready to go on that second fret. Make sure your A string rings open. And you got, of course, you got the choice of how many strings you want to hit two strings. Three strings, four strings, five strings, your choice, but be ready to control that. Don't let it push you around. Be precise with how many strings you're hitting by stabilizing your picking hand on the bridge so you're not floating around bang in the wrong string oopsie daisy don't do that let's control it so yeah just checking that a stuff out and then i did that kind of a mixolydian uh, mode you could go back down here all the way to the octave. That octave is really cool. Open A and seventh fret, fourth string A. Somewhere over the rainbow. Octave. Same as or or. They all sound different, but that one sounds awesome for two string and hitting strings. And back to that. It's kind of cool just to tie those together, but of course if we had somebody to lay down the beat, one person could improvise, the other person uh, holds down the rhythm and it could be some sort of a jam. It's kind of how the way I build a lot of my uh, exercises. But uh, this high up lick here is like D, I'm just in the mode, uh, D, C sharp, B, A, G, A, B, C sharp. So again, that was D, C sharp, B, A, G, a, B, C sharp. And that the reason that sounds cool to me is it doesn't start and end on start or end on A. It's a starts on a on a D goes down to a G over an A chord. Pretty basic stuff, um, but you know me, I like to find something really simple and repeat it, kind of drive it into the ground and I'm trying to hypnotize the 
audience. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it works. But uh, you could take that higher, this little walking, creeping. It's like a root and a fifth, a root and a sixth, root and a flatted seven, a root and a octave. Then we start over to the next octave with a second, a third, fourth, and a fifth. Hopefully you're getting into that A mixolydian. I'm sure some people are wondering what I'm talking about, but there are seven modes and uh, you can play them in all 12 keys. So this is, I believe, the mixolydian is the fifth mode out of these seven modes. Um, we can do more with uh, talking about where, what modes are and maybe just say, okay, mixolydian, I'll believe it. We can explain why it is what it is, but right now I'm just kind of going by the sound without going in really deep into a, a theoretical explanation. But we can get, we'll come around to that. Maybe we'll backtrack and uh, get a few people thinking about what modes are and how to use them, how we can use them. And, uh, you know, you don't have to know every one of them and you don't have to know them perfectly, but if you know a little bit about it, it's cool, man. We're all working on it. No, There's no race here. We're just kind of working our way through it at our own speed. All right, I'm jabbering, but uh, thanks for stopping by. Keep working on that A mixolydian mode. We'll do some other fun stuff real soon.